The fastest and easiest way to compare data is using the equal sign. Here I have some data and I simply want to determine if what's in cell C5 matches what's in cell E5. And to do that, I'm going to press equal sign and select cell C5 and then equal sign again and select cell E5 and press enter. And the formula returns true when the two cells are equal and false when the two cells are unequal. And now I'm going to drag that formula down to the cells below and do a count ifs formula to determine the number of times true appears. So equal sign, count ifs, and open parentheses. The first thing to enter is the criteria range 1, which is the range of cells that you want to count. And in this case, it's these cells here that contain true and false. And then the next thing you want to enter is criteria 1, which is the criteria you want to count in these cells. In this instance, it's the number of times true appears. So I'm going to type true, close parentheses, and press enter. And the count ifs is telling us there are five instances where the cells match below. And if you're enjoying this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It's a follow-up to my short that a lot of people enjoyed. And we're still going to cover using if and vlookup to compare data and finish with some tools for examining your data when it doesn't match, but it should. The if formula works similar to the equal sign, but gives you more control over your results. So type equal sign if and open parentheses. In the logical test, you want to highlight cell C5 and then equal sign and highlight cell E5. And for the value if true, we want to return match. So I'm going to type match in quotations and press comma. And for the value as false, I want no match. So I'm going to type no match in quotes, close parentheses, and press enter. And then I'm going to drag this down to the subsequent cells. And you can pair this with a count ifs formula as we did earlier and count the number of times match appears in the list. The previous examples require that the cells you're matching are next to each other. But sometimes you want to know if a piece of data is anywhere in another range of cells. In this example, we have a list of four countries and we want to know if they're listed anywhere in this longer list of countries in column F. And that's where VLOOKUP or XLOOKUP come in handy. And I have tutorials on both of those formulas, which I'll link to in the description if you want to learn more. And today I'm going to use VLOOKUP, so equal sign VLOOKUP and open parentheses. And the lookup value is the data point that you want to know if it exists anywhere in these cells over here. In this case, does Kenya appear anywhere in our country list? So I'm going to highlight that cell and press comma. And the table array is the range of cells where you're searching for the lookup value. In this case, the list of countries over here in column F. And the column index number will be 1, which means if the VLOOKUP finds the lookup value, then the formula will return a value from the first column in the table array. And then press comma, and the range lookup is false, because we want to make sure this is an exact match. Close parentheses and press enter. And this first example returns a country, which means the lookup value, in this case Kenya, is somewhere in the table array, which is our list of countries in column F. And moving down to our next country, VLOOKUP will return a pound NA if the lookup value, in this case Iceland, is nowhere to be found in your table array. And we can wrap this VLOOKUP in an if error statement to change the pound NA to something more appealing like a missing data. So just press F2 to edit the formula, jump over to the beginning of the formula with the home key, and type if error with an open parentheses. Then jump back to the end of the formula with the end key, press comma, and in quotes type missing data. Close parentheses and press enter. And now the formula returns missing data instead of pound NA. You can also use is error, which works similarly. So F2 to edit the cell, home to jump to the beginning, type is error, and open parentheses. And then jump to the end of the formula, close parentheses, and press enter. And is error returns true when the formula returns an error, and false when the formula does not return an error. And moving on to this last example, we're going to talk about what to do when you know a data point is in the list, but your formula is still returning an error. 
Here, the formula is returning pound NA, but I can see that Tanzania is in our country list over here. The first formula in your toolkit is len, which tells you how many characters are in a given string. So I'll apply len, equal sign len, to this value over here, and I'll copy that formula and paste it over to the same value in the table array. And you can see that len returns nine characters for our country in the country list and eight characters for our lookup value. And if you look closely, an extra space was added to this country in our country list. And this can happen, for example, when you export data from another system. So to fix this, I can remove extra spaces using the trim formula. So I'll press F2 to edit the active cell, and I'm going to wrap the table array in a trim formula. So trim, open parentheses, and then close parentheses on the other side of the table array. And press enter. And the VLOOKUP is now returning a match because we're removing extra spaces from the values in the table array, which is our coffee list over here in column F. And in the description, I've included a link to the very file that I used in this video if you want a great resource to practice what you just learned. And the best way you can help me out is to leave a comment and let me know what other videos do you want to see from me. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you next time.